This video shows how to use the results of a vulnerability scan that has been imported into BMC SecOps Response Service. You can fix vulnerabilities by completing a wizard that launches an operation that runs software updates in Microsoft SCCM. Before you can remediate any vulnerabilities, you must first import the results of a vulnerability scan from a tool such as Qualys, Nessus, or Rapid7 and map those results to servers and remediation content in SCCM. The process is demonstrated in another video. Now we resume the process by looking at the SecOps response dashboards. Incidentally, you can also run remediation operations for servers managed with BMC BladeLogic server automation, but that process is also covered in a different video. First, select SecOps Response Security Dashboard. The Security Dashboard gives a global picture of vulnerabilities detected in vulnerability scans. By default, the dashboard shows data from the last 90 days, but the time frame can be longer if your scan data covers a longer time span. In the bubble chart, a red circle represents a vulnerability that exceeds your SLA. The size of a bubble indicates how many endpoints are affected. This vulnerability affects four endpoints, while this vulnerability only affects one. Filters let you narrow the focus of the dashboard to a critical set of vulnerabilities. For severity, I'll select severity four and five. For device collection, I'll select all desktop and server clients. Then I click Apply Filters. Now the chart shows information for vulnerabilities on desktop and server clients with a severity of 4 and 5. Now I select SecOps Response Operator Dashboard. The Operator Dashboard provides charts and filters that help you identify vulnerabilities that require attention. When you have settled on a set of critical vulnerabilities that require action, you can launch a remediation wizard. Notice in this filter how the severity level is already set. The same is true for this filter, which selects all desktop and server clients. When you switch between the security and operator dashboards, SecOps Response remembers your filter selections. Here is the actionable vulnerabilities list. It shows every vulnerability on every mapped endpoint included in the scans you are using, but after filtering is applied. Currently, there are 19 vulnerabilities in the list. Now we're going to use filtering to tighten the focus a little more. For SLA, I select Approaching SLA and Exceeded SLA. For Status, I select Awaiting Attention. This excludes vulnerabilities for which remediation is already in progress. For Bulletin ID, I select a few specific bulletins. Click Apply Filters. Notice how the vulnerability list now shows only three vulnerabilities. Now we're going to start the remediation process. Click Remediate to open the remediation operation wizard. Enter a name for the operation then click Remediations. Here you can review the list of remediations that can be deployed. If you do not want to deploy a particular remediation, select the check mark to clear it. Now click Next. On the SCCM Configuration Details page, you can review some configuration settings on the SCCM server. This page is read-only. Click Next. On the operation page, you can schedule the operation you are creating, or you can have it begin to execute as soon as the wizard is complete. I'm going to schedule this operation. I use these fields to set a time and date for the operation. You must set a time at least five minutes in the future. I'm setting the time to 1 a.m. the next morning. 
The schedule you define corresponds to the software available time that can be defined for a software deployment in SCCM. By default, a deployment defined through SecOps response specifies the software deadline time to be one week after the software available time you schedule on this page. In the planned operation list, make sure any operations you are creating have green checks, which means they are configured to launch correctly. Now I'll click finish. A message tells you that the operation will appear when it has been generated. Click OK. The home page displays a message like this while the operation you have defined is being created. If you are creating a big job, it can take several minutes for the operation to become available. You might have to refresh the home page before the operation appears. Here is the operation. If you schedule the operation to run immediately, the software update would be immediately available for deployment. If you schedule a time in the future for the operation to execute, the software does not become available until that time. Thanks for watching.